And of course, speaking of the eclipse, Kaylee, prepare yourself. I'm prepared. Okay, good. The Toledo Symphony is also getting the solar spirit. Meteorologist John Birchfield is live for us at the Toledo Museum of Art, Paris style to explain. John, I already know this is going to be a really cool experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the total solar eclipse is going to be a once in a lifetime spectacle and the Toledo Symphony Orchestra is also getting ready to deliver a once in a lifetime musical performance. In fact, this is something the world has never heard before. I'm here with Elaine Trudell, the music director and the conductor of the Toledo Symphony Orchestra. Why are you so excited about this performance known as the planets? Well, we're going to play Holes, the planets, where all the music that the people who love John Williams and the kind of music, it all comes from there. But the big event also is that we have nine new pieces on this program, nine, nine planets, nine, nine new pieces by a consortium of composers, which you will hear a little bit more about a little later. But we're doing the world premiere of nine new pieces. So you have the planets twice just before the eclipse. So we're very excited. That's super exciting. So some of our viewers at home may be familiar with Gustav Holst, um, a co English um, composer from about a century ago who um, composed the planets. Um, what is so unique about this one and how does it fit into the theme of the total solar eclipse? Well, it started the we thought the planets would be a good a good piece to put on that but we wanted to go further than that because you know it's something anybody can think about but we said what about we we associate ourselves with composers and create the new planets a new set of planets and a different kind of minding around it too just before the solar eclipse so it's kind of everybody can get in the mood by coming to the toledo symphony and hearing the premiere of those planets and after that going to see the the eclipse. And there's only a few opportunities to hear, to hear this brand new composition. Um, concerts are happening this weekend. The symphony is hard at work right now. Um, when can you go to see this here at the Peristyle? Friday and Saturday, this Friday, this Saturday. Uh, and we have a pre-concert chat uh, at seven before the concert. And that's great because you'll be able to know exactly what you're getting into. And I'm gonna get back and rehearse. So thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's crunch time for the Toledo Symphony Orchestra. Again, 8 p.m. Friday and Saturday are the concerts. Um, so he mentioned they commissioned nine new planets each one is represented in a musical composition and you actually composed one of those pieces tell us a little bit about yourself and what went into the thought behind this composition fantastic uh, i'm jamie sampson i am the co-owner of the consortium that they commissioned and to have an orchestra invest this much in our community of composers is spectacular so i wrote the movement jupiter you're going to hear that last and i do want to say one thing and that is our pre-concert talk is at 6 30 a little early so we can fit all nine composers into that chat for you all. And that's awesome. And do you have ties to Northwest Ohio? You're part of, is known as the Adjective Performance Collective. Um, do you have roots here in Toledo, Northwest Ohio? We have someone who was born here who will be writing the movement Earth. I lived here for eight years. I went to Bowling Green State University, as did many of our other composers. Some of them taught there. And some are brand new to you because we wanted to bring new voices right here. So what was your inspiration uh, behind Jupiter? Of course, each planet has a different vibe, a different um, role in our solar system. What inspired you in your um, comp composition? Gravity, storms, and um, generally it has so many moons and I knew I would be managing a lot of different things and I wanted to right for Jupiter because I knew I would be managing a lot of different moving parts here. Well, we certainly only have one moon here and that moon is gonna, you know, get in the way of the, the sun on April 8th and that is gonna create the beautiful total solar eclipse. Um, the Toledo Symphony Orchestra hard at work behind me performing and practicing for this um, world premiere of the planets. You may be familiar with Gustav Holst's compositions. This is composed by nine composers commissioned just for the Toledo Symphony Orchestra, and this has never been heard before. So if you and your family want to come out this Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. at the Peristyle at the Toledo Museum of Art, you can catch it at 8 p.m. And of course, the pre-concert chat also taking place. Tickets are available online, and you can also get your tickets at the box office right here in the Old West End at the Toledo Symphony Orchestra. Really looking forward to it. Uh, hard to believe the total solar eclipse is less than three weeks away. And this music certainly gets you in that extraterrestrial type mood. Um, really feels like you're in outer space just listening to this beautiful composition. All right, John, thanks Aww. so much. Yeah, he, I'm, I'm hyped and now I feel intellectually stimulated thanks to the symphonic music. It's so extraterrestrial, as John mm -hmm. said. I love it. <laughs> but now, of course, be sure to check out all of our Eclipse coverage. Text Eclipse is right there on your screen. See, right there. 419-248-1100. You'll get a text back with a link to everything we've done so far.